this is a bond valuation problem, but um, the, the the requirement is subtly different than some of the other other, other things that we do here. Um, I'm, I'm asking you here to express your answer as a percentage of R. And this is actually how uh, bond prices are often quoted in the financial markets. And so it's just a slight tweak uh, to what we're, we, we, we've always done with bond uh, valuation exercises. And so I'll go through it just, just super quickly here. And so the easiest way to think about this is to just rewrite everything from the beginning as if par were $100 instead of a thousand dollars and so what that is going to do it's going to scale down your fv it's also going to scale down your coupon amount um, and then everything else will work itself out all right so um quickly looking at this bond we have 16 years remaining until maturity and semi-annual payments and so that means we're going to have a semi-annual timeline with 16 times 2 is 32 ticks. We're going to write 100 as the par value. So that's going to be the par repayment at maturity. And so what does that mean for the coupon? Well, the coupon annually is 6% of that. So 6% of 100 is just 6. That's going to be split into two payments of $3 each since we have semi-annual payments. So I'll put my threes here and find my appropriate discount rate and then we'll be ready to go with our calculation. So the yield to maturity is 8.2% annualized and so the semi-annual R is 4.1%. All right, so let's go straight to a financial calculator. Three is gonna be our payment. 100 is gonna be F because that's the time in cash flow it's incremental to the payment 32 is in and 4.1 is i i'm going to make my fv and my payment both positive because those are going in the same direction and pv um, that's what i'm going to find and that i expect to be negative all right so going into my financial calculator I'll put 100 as FV, 3 as PMT, 4.1 as I, and 32 as N. Compute PV or the price, and I have 80.587. So this bond is selling for 80.587% of par.